of people in America are familiar with the concept of abuse, but they are not always familiar with the variety of abuses that are still out there. If I post my sign on the top of this video, you'll get a list of what type of abuses exist. The concern I have for people is that abusers often abuse for years. Sometimes they're working in the shadows so much that the person being abused doesn't know who it is or is being passed across a fetish-oriented network. For example, today I tried to go and open a brand new tube of toothpaste that I bought yesterday. And what I found is that the tube had already been unsealed. Usually tubes of toothpaste from that company come with a little bitty uh, metallic seal on it. And while I'm using this toothpaste to actually handle my quote-unquote, let's call it mosquito bites, which I'm not sure that they are, it's literally stinging. And the point of that is usually to stop the burn, which is good, but it's a little unusual for the reaction I'm having, which makes me think that someone put something in the toothpaste. Now, the tainting of any food, the tainting of anything that goes when it's put in one's mouth is really quite an abuse. But the fetish people are the people who keep thinking they have the rights to financially insult someone. They'll basically say, do you want this money or not? And the reality is most people living in poverty, most people who are living in traveler mode, most people who are living in the streets do need money. But the problem is during the general day that so many people walk by as if they're the, the, the people on the road to Samaria that they openly never, uh, people never earn enough in panhandling to get themselves out of the street. Now that is not necessarily me, but what I know during this time of COVID is that there's a lot of people who are not entertaining philanthropy. And therefore, it's not been an easy road for my project, uh, M2M Life Force Ministries. But I can say to you that people, when they do hear with me, and when meaning they hear about my program or they talk to me, they are more inclined to give to me. They recognize the truth of what I'm saying, they recognize the abuse of what I'm experiencing, and they recognize that there are people in America that do abuse.